Obi Toppin, cut to the basket, my boy. Oh my gosh, pull the three. Obi for three, let's green. Obi Toppin, I need that screen. I need that screen, cut to the rack. Cut to the rack, finally. All right, guys, and we're back. And today it's time. It's Obi Toppin's turn. We're going to be rebuilding the New York Knicks around him. As you guys already know, the New York Knicks took Obi Toppin with the eighth overall pick. There's been a lot of controversy about this pick, but nonetheless, the Knicks are going to be really fun to watch. <laughs> this team is a highlight factory just waiting between him and DSJ. Oh, yeah, this team is going to be fire. And look, guys. Looking at this roster, you best believe that changes are going to be coming, and hopefully changes do not happen until after this video. But looking at it, obviously, we got Mitchell Robinson. He's going to be untouchable. Obviously, Obi Toppin is untouchable. And hell, even RJ Barrett, he's untouchable as well, because those guys are the core of this team. And let me get this right out of the way. Ayo, Julius Randle, you on that block, my boy. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. You guys have been showing so much love the last few days. You guys killed it on my last one with LaMelo Ball and the Hornets. So make sure you go ahead ahead and spam that like button drop a like on it guys let's aim for a hundred plus likes and you guys can do it you guys have shown me that you guys can do it but enough of the sub promo let's get straight into this rebuild and we're starting this thing off by trading away julius Randle because if they can get anything for him i am taking it but once again it's realistic so at least it has to make sense so maybe the oklahoma city thunder or some rebuilding team all right guys so this is the deal that i came up with obviously i don't know this this trade seems a little bit realistic because, I mean, Julius Reno, he's clearly better than Torian Prince. And I think that the Nets do need a power forward that they can actually rely on. And, you know, give them giving up next year's pick don't really matter to them, especially if they are contending. So, I mean, maybe we throw in a second, not that one. Maybe we throw in a second round pick in the future but i don't even know which team really wants julius randall which is why i think the nets kind of make sense because i mean if they're not trading for like james harden this team could use a upgrade at power forward and potentially bring him off of the bench and he's still a better contract than torian prince they're both on for two years we also take away gear temples deal as well and this is their counter and i'm gonna just go ahead and i'm gonna take it i don't know i think that that was realistic it was at least fair can we at least agree on that but other than that move i think i'm good with this team i'm i'm trying to tear this team down and rebuild it from the bottom up i am really okay taking really bad contracts and rebuilding this team over the long haul this don't gotta be fast hell i would take this deal if they threw in a bunch of first round picks as well i'm trying to do this thing in a realistic fashion and i mean we could trade for like russell but the assets that like we're giving up we're just not gonna do that and since nobody else on this team that i'm giving away has any value let's send to the end of this first season and let's see what barrett Toppin, and mitchell robinson actually do because i really just want to see how they grow for the most part i'm trying to be one of the worst teams in the league and hopefully 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 we can get somebody like a Cade cunningham or you know one of those guys because i think the best way for like the knicks to actually rebuild their team would be for them to draft well and just show free agents that like they know how to win other than that i don't think it's insane i mean it's new york city a lot of guys would love to actually come here and right on time this team was big trash however trey young is this year's mvp this man averaged 39 yo 2k i keep telling y'all boys what's up with y'all simulation trey young does not put number 39 next season dog that Nah. We're not letting that slide. And we don't care about anything else because this team is still as mid as ever. And I already know that we have no Knicks players, but do we see Obi Toppin is now a 79 and he makes all rookie first team? What were the numbers that he put up this season? He put up 17 and a half points, nearly seven rebounds, and he also shot pretty decent from like the three-point line. That's actually really good. We also got Emmanuel quickly on the second team. Nine points. That man gotta up his assist though. Two assists is now what's up. Um, but looking at this year's stats, let him points by RJ Bear. Behind him, we had Obi, then Mitch Robinson. How on earth was Garrett Temple getting 10 points a game? How many minutes was Buddy playing? 20, I don't know how he got 24 minutes a game, but hey, man, we're going to figure it out because like I said before, we are the worst team in the NBA. So I, I'm actually really cool with that as Giannis gets his first string. I'm really cool with that because entering into the draft lottery, I expect us to have like the best odds at the number one overall pick and to possibly end up with it. 
Now, the Knicks have historically bad lottery luck, unless it's like 1985 where they got Ewing, but I'm gonna need that number one overall pick right now. And in typical Knicks fashion, <laughs> we get the fifth pick. At least 2K finds a way to be realistic, and I hate that the Spurs get the first pick, man. How do we get number five? Ah, this gonna be long. This gonna be a really, really long rebuild, but let's at least work on our player development. Is there a way for us to trade out of this draft pick? I'm gonna at least see what's out there for the fifth pick, and looking at it, the market on the fifth pick is pretty weak. Not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna I'm pass on all of that. And we took some major W's in this year's draft. Picking up Katie Cunningham, Greg Brown, uh, this guy, I, I don't even know how to say his name, and I'm gonna take Terrence Clark, and I'm, I'm picking up everybody. We took major W's. Now, these guys are, are gonna get moved, like, for sure. And why does 2K always have it to where they don't pick up RJ Barrett's option? That's kind of nuts. But it's not for us to, to make moves. Kevin Knox will not be surviving this. I can already tell you that right now. And DSJ, sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but you can actually walk now. I don't expect any free agent to really sign up to, to like, come here. Um, maybe Van Vliet, because Van Vliet said he wants that bag. And I'm down to give it to him. And with this next shirt, I'm going to be sending Kevin Knox over to the Milwaukee Bucks. And I don't know how Knicks fans feel about this, but I feel like at this point, we just drafted Greg Brown and Cade. And I think that Kevin Knox needs a change of scenery. Now, Jordan Nuora, I don't really need him in this trade. Just slide me a second round pick or two. And we go ahead and we make that move. Now, as far as big name free agents, once again, I don't think any big name free agent is really signing up to come here. I do know that Freddie wanted that bag. And I will give him a bag with stipulations because it's it's only a two-year deal. So if he wants to take it, he can. He, he don't got to, though. And, and yeah, DSJ, I'm not matching that. I'm not matching any of this stuff. And you guys can all, you know, walk. And heading into season number two, this is going to be our lineup. Whoa, what is going on here? This is why. No, nah, we're not. Yeah, we're not trying to tank anymore. It's going to be Van Vliet. It's going to be RJ Barrett, Cade Cunningham, Obi Toppin, and Mitch Robinson. And then off the bench, we got Greg Brown. Musa, I, I think that's his name. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong in the comment section below. Frank Nilakina, Torian Prince. And I'm gonna just have quickly play that backup shooting guard spot again. Kind of like what he did last season. I'm gonna just let that one fly. Dang, he's an 86 there? I did not even expect that. Now, I'm gonna just let him play that role, but He's doing a lot better than what I thought. <laughs> like, that man is now the eighth man above even Frank Nielakina. And then we're going to be throwing Terrence Clark. I'm throwing him in the G League. And if we can make the playoffs, I think that we can attract a lot of free agents. And, I mean, some of the free agents next year are guys like James Harden, maybe? Stephen Curry? Russ? I mean, I think if we can perform well this season, we can attract a lot of really good free agents. So I'm going to need us to actually go at it and make that work. And they still got us as a rebuilding team. But I think this might be the year that we can actually shock the NBA and be pretty good. And at the end, we miss out on the playoffs. We finish as the ninth seed. And Trey Young gets himself another MVP award. And this is Jonathan Kaminga. This man put up 10 rebounds? Yo, who's making these rosters? You also spelled his name wrong. <laughs> this man is bugging out. But hey, we'll see what we can actually do. And yeah, we we were still pretty cheeks. Now, I don't expect any Knicks players here at all. And yeah, they just are not here at all. Uh, but we do get Cade Cunningham. Our rookie first team, he's still in 81. Don't know how I really feel about that. But yeah, we do miss out on the playoffs, man. And by how many games? Two games outside of the playoffs. But I mean, that was enough. I think that somebody could see the potential with this team and be willing to join it. RJ Bayer and Obi Top and really, really just took over, man. Both putting up over 20 points a game. Obi's now an 83 overall. Freddie Van Vliet, 14 points, six and a half assists. I mean, we showed signs of being solid. I mean, Cade Cunningham, 14, seven and four. And we could shoot better from the field. If we just get better shooters, this team could be really deadly. And Terrence Clark is now a 70. So we're gonna come back for season three. I'm sure that this rebuild is not going to be three seasons the way that it normally is, but this year Boston gets his ring. But yeah, this is definitely not going to be a three season rebuild. I can I can already tell. The Knicks are more of a project and 
I mean, with this project, I, I hope to turn them into a winning team, but slowly and slowly, we're getting better and better because now we got the 12th pick. Oh yeah, and I am past this whole Tom Thibodeau thing. Uh, I'm I'm actually really cool on that. I'm looking to bring in the GOATS, Jacob Underwood, to try to help this team out. NBA draft time. Now, I will not be making any draft picks with this pick. All right, shouts out to Memphis. I'll actually do this deal. I'm bringing back everyone because even if they aren't useful now, I can still move them. So everyone is coming back. Barrett, Toppin, Quickly, Clark, everyone is coming back. KD is not coming here. James Harden, maybe, maybe. I will get, I'll pay you $53 million to come here, James. James Harden is a possibility. Maybe even Lonzo. This could change the entire franchise. And I'm sorry, that is a lot better than this Russell Westbrook deal, especially since James Harden has no other offers. And this team is in the East and has a lot of young talent. James Harden might be down to join this team. I could honestly just run him at point guard if I really wanted to. Let's see if we can add another superstar with James Harden because I don't think that he's coming here alone. And maybe that second guy is Bradley Beal. This team was terrible again. And I mean, he said he's testing his value. So maybe we add in a guy like Bradley Beal as well to this young team. And I mean, this could be similar to what Kevin Durant and Kyrie did, where pretty much they saw the Nets making traction. They went over there and they just blew things up themselves. So that's still a possibility. He has one more year left on his contract. It might be wise for this team to, you know, move on from him. So I'm going to see if I can make this deal happen. It's going to be very difficult to. Quickly's a 78 overall. I'm throwing in Van Vliet. I'm, let me throw in some of the other young guys as well. Uh, I kind I really like Greg Brown. I really like him, but they're going to want him as a part of this deal as well. And this is kind of a blockbuster deal where we're trading away kind of our depth. It's going to be Van Vliet, Quickly, Greg Brown, Terrence Clark, and Jesse Dennis. And I'll also throw in... The Dallas Mavericks. This is not happening, really? And what about Clay Thompson? I mean, granted, Clay just tore his Achilles, but Stephen Curry just left this team. Clear that they're in rebuild mode. Or Paul George. Paul George is now on the Lakers. But I think that Clay Thompson makes a little bit more sense because they are in rebuild mode. So maybe they do this deal and we give them a lot of young assets to go along with it. They get a new point guard, which they actually need. I mean, they have a shooting guard in Jordan Poole. They have no point guard other than Nico Mannion. I give them Van Vliet. I'll throw you guys quickly as well. And Franny Lakina, you know, slide him in there. And even Terrence Clark. This has to be enough for Klay Thompson. Like, let's... This is kind of overpaying for, for Klay Thompson. And they don't even want to take this deal. So James Arden has brought in Klay Thompson with him. And we got an interesting lineup now. So pretty much it's going to be James Harden running running point guard for us. I kind of like that. So James Harden, Klay Thompson, RJ Barry, Obi Toppin, and Mitch Robinson. Because once again, James Harden ain't coming here alone. And the Warriors are in clear-cut win-now mode. So even Trent Clay coming off of his Achilles, the Knicks would still make that trade. And I kind of like it. And then off the bench, you guys already know it's Cade, it's Musa, it's Greg Brown, it's Mike Carter-Williams, and... These guys just ain't getting sick. And what I could actually do just to make sure that we got all the right guys in there, Avery Bradley. Where's where's Avery Bradley at? At shooting guard, he's a 75. There is no way that this team is not contending. Rebuilding team, but it says that we are eighth in the power rankings. All right. This team should be capable of winning a championship. And I think we're going to dominate. Like, I really think that we're going to dominate now. And we are the best team in the entire league. Amy Udoka took it over us i don't know how i feel about that or i don't think that i don't think that he's our head coach i'm pretty sure that our head coach i think i fired jacob underwood and put in steven stylish so like yeah I, I i don't know about that now looking at it do we get anybody we get nobody on any of the all nba teams which is not a bad thing because that means that the ball is being spread around a lot more and we get nobody on any of these teams at all but we are the number one seed so it is all good and by how many games like we tied with, with Brooklyn. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, but as far as the stats go, led in points by James Harden with 27. Behind him was R.J. Barrett with 23 and 88 overall. And Obi Toppin now at an 85, 17.6 boards, 52% from the field, and 44 from, from the three. He's really starting to turn up a lot more. And I want to see if we can get that ring now. Now, Clay Thompson, he regressed as far as his scoring goes, but he played his role really well, 16 points. 50% shooting, 
43% from the three-point line. He, he did exactly what we asked him to, like, do. So I can't even be mad. And wait, Obi averaged... Obi shot 44% on seven attempts. That boy was coming down the court and just pulling it. Behind them was Cade, averaging 15 points, seven boards, doing his thing as well. And this team all around was just on their stuff. Round one, we got Orlando. We can knock off or Orlando with this team, man. No worries about that. Okay. 2K, bro. <laughs> 2K's logic is so random to me. Evan Fournier is cooking us, man. And they are saying that Okiki is shooting 80% against this team. Okay, let's let's cut the cap. Let's let's cut the cap. Are we about to get swept? We're going out. Sad, sad. 2K says that we get dropped off by the A seed, guys. We're coming back for another season. Luckily, most of these guys are on multi-year deals as Denver wins their first ring. I just can't believe that 2K allowed that nonsense to actually happen. I'm, I'm kind of mad right now. And heading into the last season, once again, we're, we got to hit this potential camp. Make sure that Obi Toppin becomes a legend in this simulation. And James Harden, he's starting to... Actually, everyone's regressing. Plays that in 86 now. Uh, this... Like, I'm a little scared. I'm I'm a little scared. Can RG shoot now? All right, so he can shoot now. So let's work on his his combo guard and all of that. So if he's now in 89, yeah, we we got to make sure that everyone gets better because we can run into some significant problems. And I don't I like we cannot choke again, man. We were so close last season. Are they at least saying that we are a contending team now? Because last year they was kind of disrespecting us. All right, contending 15th in power ranking. We were the number one seed last year. A few of our guys kind of got older, but at the end of the day, I still think that this team is a little bit better since some of those young guys started to, to actually progress. And so far, we're undefeated. And at the end of this, we're the second best team in the league and apparently in the conference as well. But John Morant, this time he gets himself his first MVP. Now, Cade Cunningham is sixth man of the year. Okay, if we finally get some kind of award, he averaged 18 eight forces and he actually shot pretty respectable from the field and from the three and we get nothing else but do we get any knicks players man rj barrett who would have thought rj barrett makes all nba second team 24 points six rebounds five assists and i think that rj can put up similar numbers maybe not the three-point shot but like this is kind of what i expect him to actually do during his prime is put up numbers like this so that's not even all that far-fetched for me and of course james harden he's on the third team 27 a you know some james harden type numbers that's our new duo man and yeah we were behind miami that's the team that was in front of us but i like this team a lot this team was really really good and as far as the numbers on this team behind barrett and rj was clay at 19 and then it's our boy look at our boy obi top man 17 points still putting up really good numbers 46 percent from the from the three and, and he's pulling that thing seven times a game and mitch is just rebounding like that's his only job is to rebound but let's see man round one versus orlando we take game one they take game two. Oh, my, i hate playing orlando man we can't catch a break against this team <laughs> like i don't know what is going on but we got a simcast or something simcast normally works really really well for us but for some reason 2k just be having us getting tossed up by this team i don't even i don't even know what's going on bro we, we down 3-1 now can they blow a 3-1 lead it's a possibility but this game okay we are pulling away we get one game back 29 and 10 from from harden and 33 and seven threes from barrett come on guys now we got to force a game seven i still can't believe that we're doing this against the freaking 7c but that's 2k logic and why couldn't we do this before man 39 from james harden i like those game seven time y'all let's make them blow that 3-1 lead let's make them blow that 3-1 lead and i think we got it we got it let's go <laughs> let's go i was so scared but round number two we got charlotte Charlotte, obviously, Lamella Ball, Lonzo Ball. Okay. They really done teamed up the Ball Brothers. But other than that, I'm not afraid of Sam White. All right, bruh. Let's, let's pack these boys up. I think that we can actually... Oh, what type of time are y'all on? Let's calm down. Dude, this game is... I'm, I'm hopping back into SimCast. Anytime we sim, it's an L. But whenever I SimCast, 
We blow them out. <laughs> but that is 2K logic, man. So if you guys are rebuilding a team, make sure you go ahead and use Simcast. Because if you don't, you might be getting dropped off. As we get dropped off and we're down 3-1 again. But we did it last, last series. Can we do it again? We might be able to do it again. And if we do, yeah, 2K is on another one. We are going to do this again, man. I, I have a feeling. We get dropped off by the Charlotte Hornets, y'all. And the Miami Heat. I don't know what to say. Back-to-back -back years, we get upset almost by Orlando twice. Maybe this team was not it. This is Clay's last year on his deal. I'm going for one more year, y'all. And it's literally because I love y'all so much. If you guys have not dropped a like, go ahead and drop a like on it. I've never gone this far in any rebuild. But the Knicks have so much talent, and they keep on getting high seeds. It's kind of annoying me that we keep on taking these L's against subpar teams, so... We're back, and I really need this team to, you know, be a lot better. And we got draft picks. Now we can bring in a lot of talent. Who's the best player possible? We keep getting so close, but folding. I'm going to do this. They get the ninth and the 12th pick for Kevin Porter. And even with this pick, I don't really want it. I don't want any of these draft picks, if I'm being honest. Just let me future first round picks, and I'm cool with, with, with all of that. I just don't understand how we folded this bad. Oh my gosh, we, we gotta pay everybody now. I don't know how we're gonna afford it, but RJ's first off. We, we gotta pay RJ Barrett. Oh my gosh, Clay wants so much money for doing so little. I'm gonna trade him. All right, so we can bring back Clay and we get everyone back. So, I mean, that's cool, but I still wanna look to, you know, trade away <laughs> Clay Thompson. At this point, it's, it's honestly not worth it. I'm down to actually do this deal. That's fine. We get Lonzo. Which means next year's lineup is going to be Lonzo, James Harden, RJ Barrett. This team could win a ring. I at least hope that they can win a ring. And for the final season, you guys, we're not doing any more seasons. It's going to be Lonzo. We added Lonzo <laughs> We added Lonzo to this team. It's Lonzo, James Harden, RJ Barrett, Obi Toppin, and Mitchell Robinson. The bench, we, we still got Cade Cunningham. We got Musa. He's not playing power forward for us. Kevin Porter Jr. and Bridges. Hey, man, if, if we don't win now, I just don't know what to say. Like... That means that the Knicks are legitimately cursed because this is possibly the best team that like you can build in. I gotta say, every move that we've made so far, in my opinion, none of them are insane. We had so many assets from trading and taking all those bad contracts for those first few years that we had so many draft picks that we just didn't need anymore. And flipping them for like players that we could actually use made sense. And I think so far we we've been all right, but we just gotta get these guys a ring and. That's the one hump that we can't get over. So maybe having Lonzo can actually help us. But so far, we are really good. Let's just see if this year, instead of just being really good, we can be good enough to actually win that ring and not get upset. And this might be the team. This might be the year. We are the number one team in the conference. And you guys don't care about none of these awards. But Cade, back-to-back six man of the year. That man just want to start now. And our boy, Steven Silas is coach of the years we go 65 and 17 so we obviously were one of the best teams in the league and did we get anybody nobody this year we'll see if this is good or bad yeah legitimately nobody on any of those teams the conferences are now changed it's a one through 16 seed i don't like that <laughs> i actually do not like that at all but these are the scores man barry it's hardened it's topping it's Cunningham and it's Lonzo so Lonzo's actually playing really really good here and he shot really good from the field and you know everyone just just did the thing but round one versus Golden State Golden State they are legitimately in the they got okay we wanted Beal they got Beal and they take game one guys if we if we lose here this just mean that either 2k don't like y'all or we keep getting the magic the magic is like our weakness bro all right but lonzo might be the the equalizer game seven they, how did they come back we let them back in the game hold on come on guys pull it through pull it out let's go rj bearer dropped 38 points on their head and we are in the conference final well, i guess whatever man this team ain't nothing to us watch this like struggle all right we're up 2-0 let's go up 3-1 let's go we're finally in the NBA Finals against the San Antonio Spurs. And who do the Spurs got? They, they got DeJounte Murray. They got Kaminga. They got Giannis? Say it ain't so. They say game one. We say game two. 
We go up to one. We how on earth do we struggle against every team? But it looks like we're gonna be smacking around this team with a bunch of 90 overalls. That is 2K logic. I'm gonna hop in. It looks like the New York Knicks are gonna be getting their first NBA championship. We got Lonzo on the team as well. Okay. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with Y'all gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> Y'all gotta be kidding me, man. But I do wanna see all the starters in there. I really wanna see the starters in. I wanna throw an oop to OB Toppin. That would be the perfect way to end off this video and finally getting over that hump to win a ring, man. Clamp up, y'all. Give me something. That's off. That has to be off. There we go. Come on. Obi Toppin. Cut to the basket, my boy. Oh my gosh. Pull the three. Obi for three. Let's green. It's green with Obi Toppin. Yo, this man might just be a superstar for the Knicks. Give me that. Come on. I'm running it coast to coast with Obi Toppin. Watch out, bruh. This man, DeJounte, is all up in the way, and we're not. OB! Oh my gosh, come on. OB topping. I need that screen. I need that screen. Cut to the rack. Cut to the rack. Finally! That's what I've been waiting to see the entire game. OB topping in the RJ Barrett connection. That's what I need. Lonzo's actually playing pretty decent. No, get that. Oh, good block by Lonzo Ball. Great block. You can take that, Giannis. That is off. Let's go. <laughs> like, I know that's off. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bruh. I'm about to, I'm about to sauce, old dude. Who is this? Man, get out the way. It's too easy. That's too easy, my boy. Look at James Harden talking his smack as well. That's what I like. All right, let's mess with James Harden here. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. That, that's too easy. That's too easy. We're up by 32 points right now. I still don't understand how we're this good, but look, we make that one switch. We trade Clay with some other assets that we don't need. <laughs> this is honestly just too fun. I'm going, okay. I'm, I can't pull that. I, I just can't pull that, but I can't take advantage of this. Cut it out. RJ Barrett? Barrett? Oh. But at the end of the day, the New York Knicks, man, this was a very, very long rebuild. It took a few seasons, but at the end of the day, the New York Knicks are NBA champions. This video took forever, man. I'm so happy that we finally figured it out. We, lot, we got a lot of big names, a lot of draft picks, a lot of assets. We flipped them. RJ Barry, Obi Soppin, the young core, Mitchell Robinson. The young core is still intact. They just added in some other guys. Lonzo Ball. He has a ring. Look at our boy Obi Toppin hugging Jonathan Kaminga. Obi Toppin, Barry, all those guys got rings. I still can't believe that he actually made that three pointer, but he got a burner on him, man. Picking up James Harden. You guys know James Harden is only going to a big market, so New York makes sense. And who's the finals MVP? Cade Cunningham gets it. Our six man gets the finals MVP. I've never seen that, actually. Iggy. I mean, Iggy kind of did that with Golden State. This team right here, guys, was fuego. I really like this team, man. This definitely took longer than my other rebuilds, but this one paid off a lot. A lot. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, like it up. Go ahead and subscribe. He put up some decent numbers, but we had so many guys on this team. It makes sense. I mean, RJ Barrett, James Harden, Obi Toppin. Lonzo Ball, Cade Cunningham, Mitchell Robinson, Musa, Kevin Porter. This team was so damn deep that if we didn't win it this year, there would have just been something wrong. Regardless, guys, let me know what you guys think about Obi Toppin and let me know if you guys think that the Knicks made the right move. If you guys want more videos like this, check out my video yesterday where I literally rebuilt LaMelo Ball on the Hornets. That video is doing really well. It's kind of blowing up a little bit. And also check out my video of James Harden in Brooklyn and literally all of my rebuilds on NBA 2K21 next gen on the PS5, guys. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Give me y'all suggestions for the next one down below. I read and reply to all of the comments. And other than that, follow your boy on Twitter at LegendaryEA. And I'll see you guys later on. Peace, y'all.